Life on Earth depends on the climate and there's no doubt that the climate is changing. Climate change is a long-term change in average weather conditions, including temperature, precipitation and the wind. Changes in the climate system affect our health, environment and economy. Mauritius is a small but densely populated island situated in the Indian Ocean about 800 kilometers east of Madagascar. Since independence in 1968, Mauritius has become a middle-income country with good governance and well-regulated economy. About 40% of the island's surface is being used for cultivation, of which roughly 90% is sugarcane, tea harvesting, tobacco and food crops. Climate change affects all regions and every aspect of the world. Polar ice fields are melting and the level of the sea is rising day by day. In some regions, extreme weather events and rainfall are becoming more common, while in other parts of the world, people are experiencing extreme heat waves and drought. The number of consecutive dry days is increasing, and while the number of rainy days is decreasing, Heavy rainfall events leading to flash flood has increased, as has the frequency of extreme weather events, including storms of tropical cyclone strength. Climatic parameters like solar radiation, temperature, wind, and rainfall have a profound influence on yield and quality. Yields are clearly adversely affected by cyclones, excessive rain, summer droughts, particularly if they are not irrigated. The synthesis report of the IPCC fifth assessment report shows that in 2010, the European Union earned more 13 million euros to increase the competitiveness of the sugar industry. Increased mechanization, improved yields, better management, and the production of energy from bagasse have improved the industry. In 2011, the country produced 430,000 tons of sugar, showing a growth of 0.6% compared to 2010, relying on imports for 70% of the country's food requirements. Mauritius is particularly vulnerable to rising global food prices. Since the 2008 global food price crisis, the government has been pushing the agriculture sector to boost food production to increase the country's self-sufficiency. A reasonable level of success has already been achieved with farmers producing almost 100% of the country's needs in fresh vegetables, 60% in potatoes and one-third in onions. Climate change is a major threat to our agriculture in Mauritius. The toll that climate change takes on agriculture is nearly incalculable, and as a result, our food security is at risk. Our farmers are struggling to keep up with shifting weather and increasingly unpredictable water supplies. Farmers must contend with unexpected attacks from weeds, diseases, and pests, which affect yields. The climate was better before. There were thunderstorms in October, November and December, but now it's more in January, which shows that the climate and the atmosphere has changed. Sometimes when it rains, we get a lot of water, and when there's the sun, it is very hot. Now when there's the rain, it's good for us planters, but sometimes causes harm. Due to high temperature, our plants dries out. It's been 10 years that I'm into plantations. I sell my vegetables every Sunday. 
When I started planting, there was a lot of rain, but nowadays we don't get that much water and it affects my crops. I have to use pesticide because of moths who bite the vegetables in November. The weather is very high and the vegetable doesn't grow. Even if I water them because the soil itself is too hot and dry. Rainwater and water from the tap is not the same. Even if rainwater irrigates the soil, it is not as nourishing as rainwater. In order to adapt with the situations of climate change, some measures are being adopted by Mauritian planters. Water harvesting is one among the methods applied by planters in order to supply crops with sufficient water. More farmers are moving towards bioproducts like manure, vermicomposting to produce healthier vegetables and fruits. The use of pesticides in plants helps in growing better crops and killing harmful pests. With the increasing pace of climate change, decrease of crop yields, even the preventive measures taken, we are still in doubt whether one day we will end up with insufficient crops to survive. Climate change is raising many questions on our survival and we are all insecure for the years to come.